All right, guys, I always talk about awareness. Today's striking progression is gonna be a little bit different. Okay, I always throw these things at you guys to get you to think. For the next hour after your workout, I want you to be intentional about what environment you're walking in and what it's doing and what it's allowing you to do and what it has to offer. What advantages and disadvantages do you have in an environment that you move into? Even where you're at right now, I want you guys to be thinking about your routes, your routes in, your routes out. What does that mean? Is there an exit? Is there an entrance? Do you know you can get back through the kitchen? Do you know that there's a way out in a retail store? Do you know where those exits are for sure and that you can get through them? That's gonna increase your confidence and then create permission in your neural pathways to be like, I can go there in the event of a crisis. Okay, understanding your environment. I also want you guys to be intentional about actually finding a fighting wall and then just getting there. Okay, I don't care if you look stupid or whatever the case is, I want you to be intentional about looking and saying, okay, I'm walking through an environment, I'm on the street, where's the best place in the street to walk? Especially if I'm with my family, okay? I wanna be on the wall here with my family this way. Why? Because I can respond outside of that cone. I'm on the wall in a dominant fighting position where I can anchor myself, I can pull people in, but I can also respond. If I'm looking at my family this way, at a wall, yes, maybe I have windows that I can utilize, but not every building's gonna have a window. Now I'm staring at a wall, my family, what good am I to any outside threats, okay? I can't respond as well. We're here, I can see things happening. So in your environment today, for this next hour, I want you to be able to at least go, okay, I'm on a fighting wall, check your phone, make an excuse to be there, and just look, and a scan and assess, okay, 180. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm gonna check my position or whatever, my text, okay, and then put it away, do another, do another scan, and then move through. I want you to be intentional about what you're doing in each and every environment because you're gonna connect those neural pathways again and again, and then you're gonna start looking at environments differently. You're gonna start sitting in different places. You're gonna start putting your back against the wall. You're gonna know your exits. You're gonna think about this. It takes 30 seconds to think about all those things when you get reps in, and it makes it familiar, and it makes it, more likely for you to make a better decision when the time comes to move or to react or respond in a threat environment. Okay, the other thing and the last thing that I want you to do is understand cover and concealment. Where in your environment is cover and concealment? What's the difference? Okay, I talk about it a lot, I've talked about it in some other videos, but cover will stop bullets, concealment will hide you. Can cover be concealment? Sure, can concealment be cover? Not all the time. Okay, but it's important to understand the difference when you walk into an environment, even if I'm walking through a mall or, or in the corner store. If I walk into 7-Eleven, as I'm walking into 7-Eleven, what's cover and what's concealment? Okay, Krispy Kreme donuts suck as concealment because there's a friggin' glass case. Okay, the chip aisle is better for that. Or even better, go back where you've got beer and water in front of you behind the coolers. That's a little bit of cover and definitely concealment. Okay, you can find something in the back going behind a bunch of kegs in the back of the 7-Eleven. That's decent cover to stop bullets from traveling, at least slow them down a ton. So understand each and every environment that you walk into is gonna offer different types of cover and concealment. Be intentional for the next hour about those points. The best thing you can do is write them down. Get reps in. That's today's t uh, striking progression is that I want you to go through this environmental shift to be able to be like, okay, I saw a concrete stanchion, I saw a green door out by the alleyway that had a dumpster next to it. I know I could get in and out of there. I just saw a guy walk out and throw trash away as I was walking into the building. Boom, solid rep. You saw somebody do it, okay? Doesn't make it 100% sure, but it makes it more likely that you can get to that spot. All right, that's today's striking progression. Think through this stuff. If you do it all day, great, but at least give me an hour and walk through these things. Be intentional about your environment. I'll see you guys on the next one.